How can an ounce of meat be worth 700 grand? Oh, come on. Well, Market Watch columnist Al Lewis explains that in his unique take next on Fox Business. Then do the twist. If you take all the nails, it's all in the fingers. Grab hold of the soul. A secret shopper and a missing ounce of meat caused two Quiznos franchise owners, their sub shop, had cost Quiznos $700,000 for an ounce of meat. Here with his take is Al Lewis, Dow Jones Newswire's columnist. Al, first of all, in 30 seconds or less, you've got to explain what this is all about. Well, I don't know if I can explain it in an hour, but the bottom line is this. There's a couple in Pennsylvania that bought a Quiznos sub-franchise, and eight months later they got a letter from Quiznos terminating their franchise because a mystery shopper had been in there and determined that they were just one ounce short on the meat that they put on a Philly cheesesteak sandwich. Unbelievable. And this went into court for a long time. They were battling back and forth. And not only did the couple who owned the franchise eventually win, but the judge said, guess what, Quiznos, you've got to pay the court costs as well, right? That's right. And the couple won a, almost a $350,000 judgment. Their lawyer is winning uh, $350,000 worth of fees. And, you know, Quiznos, of course, has its own legal costs, and they're having to pay interest. When I mean, you add all this up, Dave, this is a battle over one ounce of meat that probably is going to end up costing over a million dollars. Now, why, and, uh, why, you know, is this, why is this case significant to you? I mean, it, it means something to me because I think lawyers, lawyers, lawyers. But why to you, Al? Well, here, here's the thing. Uh, Quiznos was battling Subway, and they were bragging that they had more meat than the Subway sandwich. Right. And they, they, were, under, they, they were under pressure to, to you know, make sure that all of their franchises were conforming. And, and they were pretty hard on these franchisees. I mean, they sent letters out to 300 of their franchisees saying, you know, you're going to your, lose your franchise here because you, you didn't put one, enough meat on the sandwich. Uh, I think it shows the kind of battle that's going on between Subway and Quiznos, which is a pretty heated battle. And I think it also kind of shows, like, a lot of people, today are going to be going out and they're going to be buying franchises, right, because they've lost their right. jobs. And they need to know that a lot of times when you join a franchise, they treat you kind of like it, an employee. And, it ain't, uh, you're, or you're or really like, at the, it, like an indentured servant, I mean, in some cases. But there, <laughs> there is a way to rectify things, and this couple proved it. Al Lewis, great to see you. Thanks very much. We are gearing up for Thank the you. final hour of trading. Liz is in place for countdown to the closing bell. Hi, Liz. Hi, David. First